Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Hello everyone. Let me introduce myself. My name is Aulia Morida from Advanced Speaking A2. So in this opportunity, I would like to present about a case study of using songs in teaching English vocabulary to young learners article from Dewi Ma'rifat. So here, the content of this presentation. The verse is background, and then research objectives, and then theoretical framework, and then research method, result or findings, and the last is about conclusion. So the verse I would like to explain about background. The background of this article is one of the components that play important roles in English is vocabulary. In language learning, vocabulary has long been knowledge to be strong predictor in teaching comprehension. It means that the more vocabulary that a learner knows, the easier they comprehend the text. Moreover, vocabulary also serves as a basis for determining how well learners in speaking, learning, reading, and writing. The next is teaching English to young learners requires teacher to be creative. So creative in here mean the teacher should uh, creative in using or creating one or some various strategies and techniques that can make the teaching learning process fun and meaningful for the children. And then the next is one of the teaching techniques that can be used to teach English vocabulary to young learners is song. Song has a long been part of human life. It can be heard anywhere as radio, television, and then in our smartphone or in our laptop or in family occasions such as a wedding party, funeral, and so on. And then the last is, there have been many researchers who investigated the use of songs in teaching proved to be advantageous in teaching English, particularly to increase the vocabulary to young learners. A research regarding to the use of song in increasing young learner English vocabulary was carried out by Devi in 2011. In her study, uh, she found that the use of song can increase young learners' vocabulary. And then the second is about research objective. There are two research objectives in this article. The first is, the research was attempt to investigate the song-based activities and stages in teaching English vocabulary through song. Furthermore, it was intended to find out um, student response toward the use of song in English in teaching or learning English vocabulary. And then the next is about theoretical framework. There are three, three theoretical framework that used in this article. The first is vocabulary. Vocabulary is divine, all of the words that make up languages. Um, vocabulary as a list or a number of words that people know and use it regularly in daily life. Vocabulary is divided uh, into two forms, oral and written vocabulary. Oral vocabulary is all of the words that one recognized when people listen and speak, while Print vocabulary is all of the words that one recognized when people read and write. And then the next is about teaching English to young learners. Teaching English to young learners have been popular even long before the theory of the younger, the better in learning English was pronounced. Young learner is mainly based on the years spent in primary or elementary stages of formal education before transition to secondary school. Teaching English to young learners will not be the same as uh, teaching English to adults. Adult learners can think abstractly. They can compare a pattern and linguistic 
from that are similar or different in their mother tongue and in the in the other language. In contrast, children cannot think abstractly. Children will only pick up and learn English if the teaching learning process is fun and is taught in meaningful context. And the last is about the use of song as a technique in teaching. Song has uh, been used in education, include uh, in the language teaching, especially in English vocabulary teaching. According to Millington 2011, if, if one wants to use song in teaching vocabulary to young learners, he must develop the song as a learning text. And the fourth is about the research method. The first is about the decision. This study was qualitative in nature and used a case study as its research design. Site and participant, the study took place in one private primary school in Bandung. The institution was chosen because it was located near to the researcher's place. Furthermore, a class in grade one, which consists of 24 students were involved in this study. So the next about instrument. The data of this study were collected through three instruments. The first is observation, interview, and written documents. And then after the data that were collected uh, from observation, interview, and then written documents, they were analyzed and presented in a form of descriptive explanation. And the next, I will explain about results or finding. There are two findings in this study. The first is song best activities and stages. The activities included choral singing, game, and vocabulary test. The teacher divided those activity that I that I mentioned above into four stages: opening activity, main activity, follow up activity and closing activity. So in the in the opening activity, teachers ask students to sing a good morning songs. And in the main activity, introducing or eliciting the vocabulary. And then in the main in the follow up activity, student uh, the teacher asks student to guessing the game. And then in the closing activity, student will sing goodbye song. And then the second finding is about student response. The research show all of the students being interviewed were happy about the use of song. They were happy because they were enjoyed uh, the singing activity. Moreover, all of the students admitted that the use of song in learning process can help them in a better understanding the vocabulary and it can make uh, it can improve their vocabulary. And the last is about conclusion. In conclusion, the study was concerned with the stages and activities based on song that were implemented in young learners' English classroom. Moreover, the study was also focused on the student response towards the use of song in their English classroom. There are four stages of using songs in teaching vocabulary to young learners that found in the study. Opening, main, follow-up, and closing activities. Student response towards um, the use of song was positive. This happened because the use of songs make the student feel more relaxed and enjoy the teaching and learning process better. Song also helps the student to learn English vocabulary better than conventional method. So everyone, uh, I think that's all for me. Thank you so much for your attention. Wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.